What's up guys, my name is Potato, I'm doing a quick, well, I don't know how quick it's going to be, a little tutorial, let's just put it that way, on how to get Optifine, Forge, and Mods to work with 1.62. Now with 1.6 came a new launcher, came a new way of launching Minecraft in general, just the way they store files and everything like that, so fancy, um, fancy launchers like, uh, wait, let me grab one here, MultiMC, and um, I know a lot of people who use Magic Launcher and uh, even FTB and stuff. The people at FTB, I think they're still doing just fine. They're a bunch of developers. They're doing good. Magic Launcher, I've never really liked it. I was a big advocate and still am of multi-MC. I think it works fantastic. And um, it's just they haven't updated to 1.6 yet. So... Um, I'm I'm going off to to learn how well I did learn how to do this with the default Minecraft launcher, which is fine. It works great. It's uh it's much better than the old one, but we are on 1.62. We have uh, the latest version of Forge as of this video, so it, it's going definitely going to change. There's a new version of Forge all the time, along with Optifine, which uh, currently is HD. Uh, the Ultra B4. That's the version I'm using anyways. You can get the, the light version standard, whatever, but I'm using B4 uh, Ultra, and to prove it, I have Optifine there, or not Optifine, Inventory Tweaks of Mod, and Optifine up here. My bad. I figured Optifine would be down there. It's not. That was embarrassing. Whatever. And just to prove that it is working, I'll log into my single player world here, my hardcore world, which I was, uh, I was trying to get to work. Um, or the whole reason I wanted Optifine on here, so I I don't uh, I don't get the uh, what is it the void fog. So uh, in here video settings, and then we have all of the lovely Optifine settings that we have grown accustomed to and just have fallen in love with. I don't know why my brightness is on moody. Well, I guess it resets everything, including your achievements, which I really don't like that my achievements go away every time. But anyways, how about we uh, we get going and. Uh, I show you how to do this yourself. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is open up your Minecraft folder. Now, the easiest way to do this is just open up your start menu here, go to uh, percent sign app data, then percent sign. We've all done this. We've done this for years and years now, and then open up dot Minecraft. Now, inside of dot Minecraft is all of your uh, default Minecraft files. Now, um, the way you want to go about doing this is that you do not want to get rid of your saves. Obviously, because you lo your saves are are, are are your babies, okay? There's no reason to get rid of uh, your saves, screenshots, or resource packs. So, we select everything but those three, and we get rid of them. Um, make sure, by the way, I shouldn't have to say this, but I'm going to save it any or say it anyways. Please, please, please back up your .minecraft folder. The, the entire folder to do that just right click add to archive if you're using winrar or you can send to compress zip folder just like that it'll make a um a backup of your folder right here and um you can always just replace it all if this doesn't work out for you or if something corrupts or whatever if you've already deleted something little something that a lot of people don't know in windows if you just control z everything comes back if you just deleted it if you're following it step by step already so you can control Z bring all your stuff back and then go through resource packs saves and screenshots to delete them so now that we have uh, a bare bones of Minecraft we need to open it up to make sure it gets all of the latest versions now uh, you're gonna have to sign back in so I sign in with my credentials there it's going to log in and then hit play because you need to download all the stuff as you can see it's downloading all the, uh, the files it's creating them over here and now we have a fresh version of 1.62 it has nothing installed it has reset all of our things but we still have our saves and uh, okay well I guess we won't have that because that's saved in I think this one I, I don't know it doesn't matter you'll make sure to to <laughs> I guess remember the multiplayer servers that you're connected to. Um, hopefully they have friendly IP names like play.mongoosecountry.com. That's easy to remember, yeah? Uh, anyways, so now that we have a fresh version of Minecraft, we need to open up um, 
or we need to actually go download Forge. Now, uh, like I said, I'm using the latest version of Forge right here, which is for 1.62, and I'm using the installer. I've tried using the jar, it, I couldn't get it to work. The installer is much, much easier, so just get, get that, and you'll be good to go. Uh, while you're at it, go to Optifine.net, go to the download section, and uh, like I said, I'm using the Ultra version, the B4, which is the latest one as of today. That will change. You guys all know how Optifine is. He updates all the time. It's fantastic, although sometimes annoying, but still, uh, I'm using B4. And the only mod that I have as of right now that I honestly care about is Inventory Tweaks, which is um, being updated by... Uh, Kobata, but the original page here was from this guy. I don't know, but he has a big old link here that takes you to um, the updated version here, and you just download it right there. So now that you have all those files, the links will be in the description as well. I'll even put inventory tweaks there um, for those who like using it. Uh, so uh, after you downloaded all those files, you should have what looks like, uh, well, this all right here. Um, if you don't have WinRAR, then this will just look like a regular old zip. Um, but WinRAR gives you the little purple things. You can see it's right there. You can go to rarlabs.com and download it yourself. I personally like it. It's fan It's a great zip uh, archiving tool. Uh, very simple. Anyways, let's move on. So you have your Minecraft Forge installer right here. You're going to double click that, and it's going to open up this installer right here. Now you want to install the client version of this unless you have some sort of custom path where you keep all your Minecraft saves and stuff. This is just the default one. Obviously your name of your computer will be here. It won't be Paterium uh, like my computer. Uh, it'll be your name or whatever you decided to call your computer. So you're going to install client and that's it. Just hit OK. It'll get just be over in like a half a second. And uh, the way or what that just did was in the versions of Minecraft it'll put its own Forge uh, 1.62 right here. Now um, at this stage we should test Minecraft just to make sure that it's still working and down here under profile you'll have a new little section called Forge. Okay. Um, now this is now using the Forge jar. Um, so that's what goes in these versions here. It'll have uh, these two things or whatever. You can edit your profile and set your things uh, that you want. Right now, let's just keep it default and make sure it works. So let's hit play. And eventually, there it goes. All right, I think it may download a couple of things as it's going. But as you can see, we are now using Forge. And we have our mods tab here where we can see all of our lovely mods. Now, do we start throwing in mods now? No, let's do Optifine first because the mod part is easy. That's literally just dragging um, your mod over into your newly acquired mod folder here. But this is about getting Forge and Optifine working together. Well, uh, the way that um, Minecraft now looks for, I guess, jar mods? I Do not quote me on any of this. All I know is that inside of libraries here, you need to go inside of there and then net. And here is where you're going to create a new folder called Optifine. So make a new folder called Optifine and inside of that one do another Optifine folder. And inside of that one will be your Optifine version. Now uh, I think you can just do 1.62 underscore HD Ultra B4. Think you could just do that, and then this is where it's going to go. If not, it might be Optifine right before this. We're going to find out because if, um, luckily for us, it'll create the folder and just be like, "Hey, I can't find this." Um, but we can't just simply drag this over. Uh, we have to change this from a uh, zip file to a jar. Now, uh, the easiest way to do that is just put in jar afterwards. But unfortunately. Uh, if you do not have extensions enabled, which default Windows does not have extensions enabled, all you'll have is an Optifine file called .jar, and it'll have a .zip after that. So what we need to do is enable um, file extensions to be shown. How do we do that? Very simple. We go to Start, we go to Control Panel, under Appearances and Personalization here, 
go to folder options and under view right here you'll have this right here selected hide extensions for file uh, known file types just uncheck that and hit apply and OK and now when we go back in here we see that it's called a dot zip and when we go to rename it'll only select what's before the file extension that way you know that this is the actual name of it and this is the actual file extension so since it's a dot zip let's change it to a dot jar and while you're at it this little slash right here that's between optifine and the version number that needs to be a hyphen or a dash I, I always get those confused and uh, hit enter it's gonna ask if you want to change it because it might become unstable whatever it's just trying to ask you hey you're about to change literally how this is read are you sure you want to do it hit yes and you'll see that it's changed to a dot jar so it's become an executable and now we copy that we throw it into this folder right here and uh, you're done with Optifine. So if we go back into Minecraft, um, and well, I, well, we're done moving it. We need to actually do one more thing. So go to versions, forge, and inside of here, there's gonna be two files. There's gonna be the jar and a JSON uh, file, or JSON. I don't know how people go about pronouncing it, but um, you're gonna wanna open this with uh, some sort of uh, text editor. I think you can open up a notepad. I don't know for sure, but I like using Notepad++. Um, I know Swifty, he, he swears by Sublime Text, um, but I know he's perfectly fine with using uh, Notepad++ too. Anyways, once you're in here, you're going to see a bunch of gibberish, well, a bunch of, um, of code and stuff like that in here. What you want to do is go all the way down to this bottom part right here, right after meta inf and right before main class so basically right before this little tag and this last one so i guess line 182 if you're using um notepad plus plus it should be the same in sublime text or any other text editor notepad is just kind enough to put numbers there as well um so right after this you're going to paste this uh this code right here that i will be leaving in the description as well um, for you guys to copy and paste into there. Uh, it needs to go right after this guy right here and this comma definitely needs to be there. That's what separates these two lines of code. And um, if you're using a different version of Optifine, this is the path right here that we just made. So if you go back to um, libraries.net, Optifine, which is this first Optifine here, this, uh, this colon, goes to the second Optifine folder right there and then that is the folder name that it's going to look for uh, Optifine in so we did it we did it correct we did name it the right way so inside of there should be the jar I don't believe this jar uh, the name of it needs to be anything it could you could name it whatever and I think it'll still work as long as the jar the correct one is in there um, but anyways uh, Basically, it's going to warn us if we don't have the right one to go to Optifine.net and uh, and download it. So after that, hit save. So it'll go a little blue one. You know, I just did Control S. Um, we're going to back out all the way back over to the default thing. You don't have to. I'm just doing it anyways. And after that, all we got to do is just open up Minecraft right here. Go uh, to your Forge thing if it if it's changed. It shouldn't have if you've been following the directions here. And uh, you're going to enable JVM arguments for more than one reason. For me, I like to have two gigs allocated to Minecraft. Other people that don't have the RAM to, um, to, uh, to spare, you can change this to whatever you want. You can change the G into an M for megabytes. So if you don't even want uh, the one gigabit or gigabyte that they put, you could put in 512 megabytes. I think even just M will work as well. Um, so if you only have two gigs on your machine, maybe you want to only give it half a gig. But personally, I like two gigs. And you're going to paste in this argument at, uh, at the end of it. You're going to put a space. Not sure if that's required. I just put the space just in case. I don't, it, whatever. Uh, this will also be in the description as well. Um, I don't know what this is uh, really for. It just ignores 
uh, patch dependencies or discrepancies. Excuse me, discrepancies. It's not dependencies. Um, and uh, the other thing that I like to do is play at 720 because I capture in Minecraft. So um, I do it like that. And then we save. If you want, you can save this as um, Forge and Optifine. If you want, it doesn't matter. Save, and then you'll see down here it says Forge and Optifine now. Just hit play. If you've done everything correctly, Minecraft is going to open up, and it's going to have three mods loaded right here, and you can see Optifine is installed. Now we need, the first thing that uh, we need to do actually is change that GUI scale there, and uh, maybe the sound a bit, because that's a bit loud. Uh, but there you guys go. That's how you get Optifine installed onto uh, to M Minecraft 1.62 using the default launcher. Your saves should all work booting up. You can see my achievements, whatever. It, uh, it changed, but in game two, let's, uh, nope, I'm getting confused here. There we go. Change your brightness, uh, your animations, whatever you want to do. And um, there you go. Now, real quick before we leave, uh, how to install mods into here, as like I said earlier, there's a new folder here called mods in your Minecraft thing. All you gotta do is just copy over the mod that you want, uh, assuming it's not something that needs to be a part of the jar or anything like that. Um, start up Minecraft one more time, and you'll see that your mod is now installed down, by, down here. I'll say four, there you go, mods, inventory tweaks is now installed. And just to double check, we'll go into here. We'll mess up my inventory a little bit. We'll move things kind of out of place and make it look all gross. There you go. We'll put a bunch of arrows around. And uh, if I middle click, bam, organize. Looking nice and pretty. Inventory tweaks is now working. Optifine is still installed, as you can see here. Everything is working wonderfully. It's great. It's fantastic. It's a terrible way of going about putting in mods. But we used to have to do this back in the day, so... If you've been around long enough, you've done this before, you could do it again. It's not hard. Follow the tutorial. I'll even post a link to the tutorial that I followed so you'll have a text by text steps. But uh, anyways, I'm going to go. I got a hardcore episode to record and I'll see you guys later.